Hello, biology students. Today we're going to be starting off the year. We're going to be talking about the characteristics of all living things. During the year, we are going to be taking notes. In this class, we are going to be doing guided notes. So what you always want to check is that the correct name of the notes is at the top. The correct page number of the notes is there. And what you're going to be in charge of doing is filling in parts, highlighting things. So let's get started. All right, let's learn all about this thing called hog racer. Hog racer is a memory tool for the eight characteristics of life. What we mean by a memory tool is it's a mnemonic device. Each of these different letters in hog racer is going to be a different characteristic of all living things. And all eight of them must exist for an organism to be considered alive. So this thing is not only in all caps, but it's in a different color and underlined. This would be a really perfect thing that Miss Clausen or another teacher is telling you that's important. Maybe I should highlight that. All right, let's get going and learn more about these different eight characteristics of life. So the first one, hog racer, must start with an H. And this is the weirdest one. Let's get it out of the way first. It's called homeostasis. You try saying it, homeostasis. Well, since it's so weird, let's break it down. So it means keeping the same internal inside the body conditions. What the heck does that mean? Well, since we get nervous, the thing that helps us the most to remember it is an example. So what I'd like you to do is to write down the example. The example is temperature. Specifically, if we change the temperature outside of our body, it might cause us to shiver or sweat. So what does that mean again? Well, remember, homeostasis is this big, crazy word. So homeo, the prefix, the beginning, means same. Stasis, the end of the word, means conditions. So if I change it to be too cold outside, the example I'd like you to make sure you're understanding is the way my body keeps the same temperature on the inside so I don't freeze to death is I shiver. If it gets too hot outside like it just was over the summer, the way my body doesn't die from heat shock is that I start to sweat. That's how my body reacts or deals with changing temperatures. I need to keep my body's inside temperature the same. Inside is a really good word to add on top of the word internal, inside conditions, if it's going to help you remember. Let's move on. So if you are ready, make sure you have already on the previous row filled in that you needed to add the examples. The next one is organize. So look for the O on your chart. It should say organize. Now what you're going to do this time instead is fill in the definition. Organize means the structures or parts have specific functions or jobs. This time the example is filled in for you. So in our class, we're learning all about cells throughout the year. They look so complicated, but they have so many different little parts that we're all going to learn about. And there's different types of cells, like a heart cell, and that's what you'll see in the example on your page. Heart cells are perfect for the specific job of coming together, lots of parts, heart cells, and their specific job is to pump, pump blood throughout the body. That's their job. So parts have specific jobs. That's all that organized means. And this time, the example is already written for you. So your job is to pause if you need to and to fill in the definition. Let's say you didn't finish homeostasis. Why don't you pause and go back? Don't get stressed. All right, you ready to move on? Let's go. So the next one, hog racer, should be G. G is for growing and developing. Those two words mean different things, so make sure you're going to get the definitions different. So grow means to get bigger, larger in size, versus develop means to mature in appearance, such as this lion is getting a mane. How do humans mature? Ah, they go through puberty, right? So if we were to think about a plant, they get bigger, maturing, they're going to fruit, okay? So this one's very interesting. We'll talk about it in class. We're even going to be growing some plants. So make sure if you have questions, you jot them off to the side. Let's keep going. Reproduce, hog racer. This is the fact that all living things need to make babies or offspring. Let's see you didn't know what the word offspring meant. Well, just here we heard the word babies. So you can write right above it the word babies. 
produce babies to pass on DNA. The examples of making babies as animals like ducklings or making seeds for plants is already given to you on your sheet. The next one, hog racer, is A, adapt and evolved. Now this one's interesting. Over long periods of time, traits like storing water for a cactus or hiding camouflage for this lizard, those traits of storing water or hiding, they become more in a population because they allow those things to survive in the hot desert or away from predators. Adapt, being able to survive better because of some trait. Notice that this long periods of time is underlined. Maybe that's something that you could highlight. Next, hog racer, cells. Living things are made up of one or more cells. Now here's some examples. We call only one cell unicellular, such as a bacteria. But if it's got many cells, many multicellular. How can we remember this? Well, unicellular sounds like a unicycle bike. Multi meaning many. E, energy. We eat as humans or consume or plants do photosynthesis. Both things are how we get our energy or make food, all right? We can't make food on our own like the plants, so we eat things like plants or other things that ate plants like animals. Last but not least, respond. All living things in the short term have to be able to deal with change. Let's say there's a flashlight going in your eyeball. Well, you can dilate or change your eye structure very briefly and change that pupil so that you deal with that. And if it gets dark, your pupil will go back out. This is not permanent. Your eyes change all the time due to light. Same thing, plants react or respond in the short term to light by moving. Wonderful job, guys. I can't wait to see your progress in what you wrote.